going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only Bird motherfucking Martinez. Bitch. 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 It's been fucking coconuts to the nuts, nuts, nuts today. I swear. I don't fucking go crazy because I could handle this motherfucker because I've been through worse. But this quarantine shit. This quarantine shit I could handle, right? Pero there has been no Wi-Fi for the past two days up in this bitch. Two days without Wi-Fi. It's okay, you know, because they don't, kids don't need to be in the iPads. But we like to watch shows and just relax and, you know, get our little food and eat or whatever. ¿Qué pasó, papá? Pero no tenemos ni pinche... Ni, it, we, put, we turn on the fucking hotspot, the phones, we can turn on the fucking TV y nada. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But also, possibly, they're going to send the fucking thing on through the UPS or the FedEx. It's going to take four days. So, for now. Yeah, anyways, that fucking Wi-Fi que teníamos, it sucked ass. Because you know how long it took for my fucking videos to upload? Like, three, four hours. I'm not fucking kidding you. And when I barely started making fucking videos, bitches would upload in ten minutes. It doesn't make any sense. And I get all frustrated because I'm like, I just want motherfuckers to, I want my bitches to see me, you know? Because, I don't know, because you guys like me and I'm here, motherfuckers. Okay, so first, before we start this remix to the remix to the remix, mix, mix, este, I want to, you know, apologize for our little, you know, when Thomas, we were talking about the, my last video, the remix salsa, about the 600 pound people, you know, obese people that they can't walk in shit. I know some of you guys have family members that have lost their life to that shit. And I know it's a fucking disease. It's like a drug. It's like crack because they can't, you know, they can't let it go. And it's sad to me because I saw this girl on the show and she said that um, when she was little, her parents would fight and they were always fighting and she was always alone and she like, so when she ate, it was like her only friend because she was already chunky when she went to school and said people would make fun of her. So her like, her safe place was her food and her room and her home. So she graduated from high school and then she got a, got to in disability. So she never had a job. She never had a boyfriend. She doesn't like. She was like a twenty two year old, and she was like what, like seven hundred pounds. I was like, damn, bitch. So yeah, I'm sorry. You know, we say shit. It comes out of my asshole. It is what it is. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna say that. Oh, make an excuse. I said what I said, and it just came out of my came out of my mouth, and it is what it is. But anyways, bitch, I'm so excited. Get your bitch over dick in the hole when you ride it. I'm literally so fucking excited. So earlier, literally, bitch, I'm literally, literally, I'm fucking, it's porque I'm really fucking excited. Earlier, um, the fucking elotero guy right, came, right? And baby Mario wanted a uh, corn. They didn't have corn. Sofia wanted a raspado. And they didn't have that. They had a Mexican ice cream. And that shit is fucking fire. Like the ice cream that you have to like go like this and like really homemade Mexican ice cream. It's they, they have that. And they said, you guys need to try. It's really, really good. And they're like, no, we don't want that. I'm like, I'm telling you, it's really, really good. And it takes a long time to make it. And they're like, okay, fine. So I buy two. And then Baby Mario's like, I want one too. And I was like, no que no quería, si fue tu puta madre. So then I walk in. I said, tell Mandy to give it to her brother and we'll go get her one. Jump in the car. We're like driving around looking for the fucking guy. We can't find him. We, f we found another elotero. But bitch, I'm so blessed. I buy her a, a vanilla. That guy doesn't have, he has esquites, but he doesn't have corn. He has um, raspados, but he, I don't know, it's like, but he has no Mexican ice cream. It was a whole fucking mess. So then I look that way and I see the sexy ass bitch. Woo! Doña Paz. I wanted to take a picture with her so I could show you guys. But I forgot my phone at home. So Doña Paz is friends with Mario's grandma, who passed away years ago. But every time they had a party, she would always go. And that lady always came with a little, a little, you know, container of fucking love and pleasure and all of the above. She makes this bomb ass salsa, right? And I've always wanted to make it, and I tried to make it, and it doesn't come out like hers. And I want it to be like hers because she's, that salsa is fucking fire. So anyways, I said, hola, doña Paz. It's like, hola, Erika. And I said, so cuando me va a dar la receta, like a fucking fiend, you know, like when are you going to give me the motherfucking recipe? Like, I need that in my motherfucking life. So 
She gave me the recipe. Yay! You guys don't even know how much this means to me. Like, she told me exact. I, I brought everything. Receta roja de. She says roja, but it's kind of orange. It's not, and it's not hot. It's not too hot. It's just. She said, en un sartén con cuatro jitomates, puño de chiles de árbol, separa los pedazos de ajo, cebolla, aceite. Like, she does everything separately. And she explained everything. I'm like, I'm going to write shit down. And she said the secret is a little bit of consomme. And the, when, you, when she cuts the tomatoes, she cuts them in four. And she lets them, you know, like, the, let the juices out. I'm going to make that shit for you guys. I told her too. But she's like, you know, me on YouTube. I'm like, but I'm going to record that ass. But anyways, I'm going to give my little shout out. Sorry for talking too much. I'm just so excited. And we were going to do the Q&A con Mario. But he's working out right now. Mandy's running over there in the treadmill. Mario and, and Sophia are working out over here in the front. It's just a beautiful thing, bitch. I'm so fucking blessed. I'm done, pues. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Mis pinche shout outs. Come on, bitch. Get with the program. Okay. Shout out to Nancy and Joe Espinosa. They've been together since sixth grade. Happy birthday to both of them. I guess one birthday is one day and the, like the day after is the other guy, uh, the other person's birthday. They've been together since sixth grade, right? Bitch, when I tell you they are parent goals, this, the daughter actually messaged me, the enemy. And I was like, you are so lucky. Look at your parents. They're literally like the perfect Chicano couple. Like, if those were my parents, I mean, I love my mommy and my puppy. Well, fuck my dad. Fuck my dad. No, I love my dad. Fuck my dad. Um, if my those were my parents, I'd be like, I'd be carrying a while, I'd be carrying a fucking like these are motherfucking parents. What the fuck is up? Like, <laughs> they look like those those Chicano, you know the Chicano days that they had like the They they may have like the same hair and shit. But anyways, also happy anniversary to David and Doris Varela. She says she loves you, honey. She's gonna make you happy. Um, the, the anniversary is tomorrow. And she's gonna make the molcajete. You know the molcajete that has the carne asada, the pollo, the shrimpies, the remix, the nopales. And um, she says she really loves you. And she also told me she's gonna give you the, the uh, molcajete special. You know, back in the back in the day, when me and Mario started going out, I stay. Um, he would tell me, are you going to give me the, the taco special? Which that meant, um, you make tacos and then you give the little special, you know. Hey, Mandy. Hola. Hola, bebe. So today, motherfuckers, after all that talking, finally, 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 we're going to do the recipe. So motherfuckers be like, bitch, shut the fuck up. You talk too much. I'm not going to, I don't want to watch this video because you talk too much. Bitch, suck a fucking dick. Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to make chile rellenos. Yes, bitch, chile rellenos. Mandy's not a big fan, but I've always told her, chile rellenos is life. No mames. Y ahora les voy a hacer un chile relleno en a burrito. So, for this bitch, I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven chiles. Poblanos. So, bitch, when I went to the store, this lady, she was like, she had a little thing in her face, and she kept looking at the chiles, right? And she was like, and I'm like, what are you looking for? Because usually when I get them, I just get them. Yes, okay, I'm just cooking, bitch, over here. Um, she's like, make sure they don't have any bruises and that they're not too wrinkly. So I was like, okay. I like to ask only because aquí estoy, you know, making videos does not mean I know everything. Because in cooking, you could always learn. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, motherfucking Jennifer? I'm super hyper today. But so ya me calmo. Bring it down, Eric. Okay. We're also going to use eggs. I'm using pho. Pho, pho, pho. And we all know that for chile rellenos, you could put whatever cheese you want. You could put Monterey Jack. You could put mozzarella. But today, I'm going to use um, queso ranchero fresco. Queso fresco. It's just queso fresco. Um, Some flour. I'll wait. Some flour. This one's big. And that's the train passing by. And some tomates. Bitch. What else? Let's start. Okay, bitch. So first we're gonna put our chiles, our beautiful ass motherfucking chiles. We're gonna put them on the comal. And you know, you don't have to flip them all the time. They're gonna start, we want the skin to get off. Um, I know some people put them in the oven, 
para que, you know how the tomatoes when you put them in the oven and you put broil or whatever, they start peeling off? You could do that. You know, that's a good way too. Or you could do it this way. This is the way I saw my mom doing it. I saw my mother-in-law doing it. I saw the side bitch doing it. Everybody, mama doing it. So this is the way I'm gonna do it. And you hear that pop? Oh, yeah, that's, that's what you're gonna be hearing. So you're just gonna leave it there. You know, watch it, but don't be moving it all the time. You know what I mean? Bitch, I just want to take a minute to t thank everybody that's watching little old me. You know what I'm saying? Um, To all the new subscribers, but, you know, to all the subscribers that have been here for a while, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing my videos. Este, I get messages, people telling me, oh, you know, my dad, my mom, show me your videos and I like you. And I just want to thank you guys because... I know I've always been this ghetto, loud, weird, crazy bitch, but you guys see through the bullshit and you guys see that I'm I'm being me and that I'm actually, I love doing this. And this is my second time trying to make this fucking clip. But anyways, also to, um, this weekend, the winner of the Molcajete, como JD Hawk, um, he couldn't meet. So I met with um, Monica and Wes Hawk. Este, they met me at El Super and I gave them molcajete and they bought a salsa. But they were like such good people, like genuine, nice people, like big ass smiles. And, you know, they were telling me how, um, I guess, um, what's his name? Wes showed his, his parents my videos and I was like, yeah, they, they, they turned red. And I was just laughing. Like, it's so cool to see people like rocking with you like that. And they also, they give me money for my, my kids. Like, you know, they said, oh, here for Sofia. Um, baby Mario and Mandy and it's like like these people they don't even know me they've never met me in my life but right away I could tell they like they want they wishing me good good the best for me you know what I'm saying and I really fucking am I'm so fucking thankful for that thank you so much like bird gang 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 motherfuckers also thank you too I saw my mona come Molly Molly from Georgia so when I started making my videos or videos from the back, back, you know? Este, I would always say, you need a motherfucking shield for this bitch. So she actually sent me a real shield. Mira esta. Mira que chulada. I love it. Este, dice, Bird, thank you for sharing all of your recipes. The best is yet to come. From Molly from Georgia. Molly from Georgia. Um, I always, whenever, every time I say her name, I say Molly. I say Molly from Georgia. Thank you, Molly from Georgia. You're the best. You're the best in the West. Okay, motherfuckers. So I think these bitches are going after that motherfucking breakdown. Te digo, estoy bien pinche loca. Ay, no. ¿Qué voy a hacer? ¿Qué voy a hacer? ¿Qué voy a hacer? ¿Qué voy a hacer? Si Emma Maria se fue. Some shit, some shit. Some shit, some shit. Don't tell nobody that I cried, okay, guys? You know. I know we say that I cry. And I've cried in videos before. So I'm not like... A mí me vale madre. I'm not embarrassed to be, you know, vulnerable, 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 or whatever. Sometimes you just gotta be a damn self. Especially right now, we die, we might die, or whatever. Just die, be your motherfucking self to the fullest. Can't believe people are still fucking dying, bro. I don't know. My mom every day prays, I pray. Not just for myself. I pray for all of you motherfuckers, seriously. And I had, like, a girl, she told me that her sister... She was having a stem. ¿Cómo se dice? Like epilepsy or something? When you, like, you have these symptoms? I forgot the name. I really was praying for her. And I even called my mom and I said, can you play, pray for the girl? And I gave her her name and everything. Okay, I don't remember what they're called right now. But, you know, my intentions, my heart was in the right place. That's what matters. So the point for this motherfuckers is to, like, peel that bitch. So you want to get all the, the spots, you know what I'm saying? Get each corner like this. Is the Mario? He was never like a big fan of chile rellenos. Pero le dije, hey, have you tried the, the burritos? And he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, there's a burrito. I remember when I used to work, I had this friend. Every time we went to the damn Mexican fucking restaurant, she would get herself a, a este, chile relleno burrito. And I was like, man, that sounds weird. Because me, I grew up with, like, you know, the caldito de tomate and the rice next to it. And she's like, no, bro, you don't even understand. This shit's fucking fire. And, like, I never got it because it was expensive. It was, like, um, like the burrito plus the, um, the rice and the beans. 
or whatever. It was like a whole thing. It was like $15. And to me, that shit was a lot. Maybe because it takes time or whatever. Pero, ¿qué pasó, papi? Okay, baby, Martin, he got me an airplane. Earlier, he gave me this. And I was dying. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep it forever and ever and ever. With this little heart. Thank you, papi. Yeah. Here. Here, you can have it. I, I, I'm going to keep the heart and you can keep the airplane. The heart broke. The heart broke? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to keep everything, okay? You can take your airplane. But one time, she gave me a, a bite of her burrito. Okay. okay. With the heart? Yeah. Yes, puppy. She gave me a bite of her burrito and I fell in love. And I was like, yes, bitch. I'm gonna try this at home. So Anna, I wanna show you guys. Para que you know, so you guys can eat it with your chorizo, with your high noops, whatever the fuck you want. Oh, and it's so warm. Cuanto quieres porque me olvides. Cuanto quieres porque te alejes. Cuanto valen. Tus desprecios, cuanto quieres porque te largues y me dejes vivir en paz, pobre leña de pirul, que no sirves ni para de pobre leña de pirul, que no sirves ni para de no más para hacer llorar. Oh, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know, it just came to my head. I'm like, fuck it, let's sing this bitch. It's called Leña de Pirul by Banda Machos. If you were born in the 80s, 1980 motherfucking six, you know what the fuck I'm talking about? That quebradita time? Like, those were the best times. That's when I had my mom and my dad. And they would get all ready on Saturday to go to parties and shit. And I would get like myself ready, you know, with my hair todo pendejo. But I love it. I have some pictures I'll share with you guys. Didn't you be more? He brought me broken heart. Mommy, did I break his heart? It says mommy, and then I broke his heart. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he's trying to say. So the chiles are almost ready. See how they look black? They look like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? But yeah, that's how they're supposed to look so they could be ready. Man, they out there running like a motherfucker. I like how she's all motivated and shit. And Sophia, she's all creative right now. She's the one actually making the little hearts for baby Mario. Cuanto quiere, porque me olvide. También la otra, la, la de un indio quiere llorar, pero se aguanta las ganas, herido del corazón. Él no la quiere olvidar. Something, 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 porque ese indio yo soy. Fucking Mario. When he met me, he was like, what the fuck is this? That motherfucker was like, his little music, his romantic music. And I'm over here like fucking like, nah, 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 nah. like. I like all kinds of music. I even like rock, you know? Y eso que, que me miro toda acá, toda Mexican as fuck. But I feel like music, you know, you like people, makes people feel better. If you feel depressed, just put some fucking music. Blast some music up. Just don't, don't put, don't put Tupac when you want to rob a bank. I watched this documentary one. So in the plastic bag, we're going to put them in there. So anyways, I watched this documentary one time. It was about these kids. They, they were in high school. These like four kids, they were in high school. And they were like in a, from a town and they, that was really, really, really fucking poor, like dirt poor. So they had a plan that they were gonna rob a bank. So they went and shit and there was all of them in the car and they were waiting in the car like for the perfect time. And they're like, you know what, fuck this, we're scared. So then they're like, oh, we're not gonna do it anymore. And then you're gonna tie it. We're not gonna do it no more. And you know, they skirt, skirt. They rewind. But in the, in the thing, when they were rewinding, make sure it's really, really tight. Because all the vapor and all that stuff is gonna help for the, the steam is gonna help so we could take out the, the skin of these bitches. So then, when they were on their way home, they started bumping some Tupac, right? And they was like, come with me. Hell, maybe da 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 da. I'm the good thing listen. Revenge is next to sweetest thing next to getting pussy. Some shit. And these motherfuckers, instead of like going home, they said, you know what? Fuck this. They got all motivated by Tupac. He rewind, they went and they like robbed the fucking bank. And then they got away with the fucking money. Pero since it's a town where like there's no money and people don't have money, 
These mother one of them motherfuckers started like, what the fuck? <laughs> started buying like a lot of shit, and he started telling everybody, oh, I stay. You know we got away with this, and at the end they got caught and they went to jail. And the guy, the one of the kids, actually grew up and came to say sorry to all the people he, because he put guns on people's heads. So I don't know. I'll figure out what it's called. Love you, mom. From baby Mario to mommy. I love you, mommy. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Who loves me? Who do I love? Me. Hmm. Mm. Enter Sofia, baby. <coughs> Sofia. Bye. Hey, mama. Ahorita you're gonna help me, okay? We're gonna dip the... Baby Mario scratched her in the face. So mean to her. But I already told him, me lo voy a madrear. You eat good, that's why, huh? Yeah. How many times did you eat yesterday? 13. 13 times, but it wasn't like a full meal. It was like little things. Yes, little things. Mm -hmm. And healthy stuff. Mm -hmm. Healthy stuff también. Como she ate her sopa, um, she put some rabanos in there. Some, what else did you put? Carrots? I, I put, um, no, I could find carrots. I put two types of lettuce, the purple one and the... Cabbage. Cabbage. She put purple cabbage and, um... I put the green, green cabbage. Because we went to the liquor store to, um... To buy a Red Bull for me. I know, I know, I know, I know I'm not supposed to be drinking Red Bull, but it's a mental home. I needed it in my life. But I haven't even opened it. I'm not even gonna drink it. I said no. Mejor mañana. But, anyways, este, we got a sopa from there. It's like this Asian sopa, huh? Yes. She's been wanting me to make orange chicken. I'm gonna make it for you. ¿Cuándo? Ahorita vas a el chile relleno. You're gonna love the chile relleno. Okay, now we're gonna get our little remix ready. So we're only gonna need the white part or the clear part. What is it called, Sophia? I think it's called, is that called a yolk? It's called Clara and yolk. Clara and yolk. Este, I don't know, I need Mandy in my life. I think I'm gonna need more, more eggs. Because you need, the, you need the spuma to dip the... Oh, the chiles. That for something else? What? Yeah, we're gonna put them in there too. Uh, Can you bring me two more eggs? Yes. Por favor. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. You're so proper. Like, oh my god. OMG. Ahí está. It looks like mocos. <laughs> es que estos huevitos, they're kind of small. Bitch, did you notice that, um... The gas is more cheaper. It's like two something, but we can't go out. I wait. And it's the Mandy and Sophia are sad because they want to go to the Grand Canyon. Huh, Mandy? How Sophia? Yeah. Out of all the places that we've gone to Vegas, we've gone to Texas, we've gone to motherfucking where else have we gone? We San go Francisco? Yes. Where else? And I forgot what, what, what it's called. San Diego. San Diego, yes. We went to San Diego. Este, remember when I crashed in San Francisco, the damn rental van? Yes. And then I was all pissed off. Because my brother was fighting with somebody in the back, and I couldn't back he up. He was fighting with me. Right yeah, you guys are always fighting. And I was backing up. But over there in San Francisco, the fucking, like, parking lots are fucking weird. Don't those, like, and then the streets are steep, age. Mm -hmm. So I just finished talking to my mom. I love talking to my mom. And I'm like, yeah, I'm making chiles rellenos. And she's like, I, I could never make them because my kids don't like them. My brother my sister don't like them. So, but you know what, Angelica and Jesus? You guys are missing the fuck out. Chiles rellenos are bomb skis. Skis, motherfuckers. Este, ¿qué les iba a decir? So, I ended up using, for each chile relleno, use one egg. If you make five, use five eggs. If you make two, use two eggs. So, let's start doing this. Hi, Mandita. Yeah. So, 
Meanwhile, Mandy's doing that. We're gonna take off the skin of the chiles. Easy peasy, mac and motherfucking cheesy. Mac and motherfucking, easy peasy, motherfucking cheesy. Easy peasy, motherfucking cheesy, bitch. So just take off the skin, and it's so easy like this, look. I'm gonna just dissect this bitch. Vente, Mandy, ¿por qué hagas eso? I'll do that. I know that's just turn. I want to take out the thing, that shit, KitchenAid or whatever. But I have to put it in, take it out. How do you leave it here? It's going to fall. A ver, pues. I bought this. Oh, okay. A ver. So I just put it on. Get another one? Sí. Yeah. Mm. ¿Qué? I thought it was hot. They're warm, but they're not hot. And make sure to take off even the ones over here. Sí, Pretty. I remember. You remember, right? Mm -hmm. We made them last time. A mí sí me gusta. It's like, you taste the, um, you know what? This tastes a little bit like nopales. Oh, it does. Uh -huh. So you taste the chile, and then you taste the, um, the cheese with the tomato sauce, and it's just amazing. Mm. Okay. It kind of burns. I, oh, yesterday we found out that Amanda's allergic to chiles. So you think you should do the other one? I could do it. Mandy, we, I don't want you to get allergic reaction. So she was uh, stay cutting up the chiles because was we made carne asada and I made um chile with cebolla with onion and we, we put a bunch of lemon in it for the carne asada, right? And this girl she starts like freaking out that her hands burn that her hands burn and then Mario I see him going out. I see like a piece of bag on her hand. <laughs> what the fuck was that doing? He was saturated. At least he was there. He put a like ointment. I was, he was doing surgery on her. He got his emergency package. He opened the first aid. <laughs> the first aid kit. He called 911. <laughs> Just kidding. He called the ambulance. No, but I think it's sweet when your puppy does shit like that. Because okay. before, when I, when you were a baby, I like was raising you. Like he was working all the time. So it was just me and you. So he like every time, Mandy was lactose intolerant or whatever. She couldn't drink milk. So one time I over did it with the milk and she was throwing up everywhere. When I say everywhere, I say everywhere, bitch. So when it turns like that, we're gonna add the, the other, the, what is it, yolk? Yolk. And what is this? Um, I forgot what it's called. Pues tu nomas dale, go, keep blending. I thought you knew everything. Oh, I know it's hard, it's hard. It's like the white part of the Damage. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt. Más para que agarre. And I put my four tomates to boil. So that's what it looks like. Mira que chulada. My mom she used to do it by hand. Like I know some people use that damn that kitchen aid or whatever, but my mom used to get her plate. Le salió bien chingo. You do it by hand, get a fork, put the egg, and go like this. With like the tip, the corner. You go like that, and you go like that for like two, three hours, and then you stay and live it forever. You hear the sound? That's Mario moving the weights, his big ass weight. So since Mandy's already done, and I'm gonna show you guys how to take the shit out. So see how this one, it has a cut right here. So we're just gonna continue with that cut, like that. And we're gonna take the seed out, the seeds out, the rabo. I don't know what this thing in the middle is called. A rabo, a rabito, the nut sack. Like this. Be careful because then you could like cut the other side. I know, they're like delicados. They look like them when you're dissecting. Is it like the straw so you dissect in school? Mm hmm But I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because anyways, it's gonna t it's gonna go in your fucking mouth at the end of the day. So it doesn't have to be. But you know, people take pride in their cooking and be like, Oh my God, look at my damn chile relleno, their perfection. It's fine. Okay. Let's see. Yes, see. Okay, bitch. So Mandy wanted me to tell you guys something. She went with Baby Mario right now. But she told me if you pull this, 
you pull the whole thing and she felt bad because one of the damn chiles broke down but it's okay because they don't have to be perfect it's they just try to take as much seeds as you want and this is what they look like mira que chulada it's fine like this one it's fine if it's they're a little fucked up you know what i'm saying because they're very delicados but no mames they're gonna go in your mouth anyways they don't have to look i mean they do have to look sexy we gotta look sexy as but so you could use whatever cheese you want i already told you guys that you could use toothpicks or whatever my mom never used toothpicks do what you do just wash your shoes do what you do just wash my shoes mm. i love tea i love me some class okay motherfuckers so so I have the cheese, right? You can use cheese, whatever cheese you want. You can spread them butt cheeks like this. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna put them in the middle. You could put one or you could put two. Do so whatever book you want. You know what I'm saying? And then you just put them like this. Yeah, it's not a big thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so for the chiles rellenos, you could make them dry or you can make them with the salsita de tomate. They are so fucking bomb, Comandy. They are so fucking bomb with that salsita. And for that, you put tomatoes, cumin on that ass. Comandy, you put some chicken flavoring, bouillon, or whatever. This is the same shit that you make for the rice, the Spanish rice, the Mexican rice, or whatever. Yes! And then we're gonna put some oregano. Some oregano on that ass. I love it. Wait, how I much? Love it. Like that much? Like a palm? Yeah, like put it right here. It's because Mandy's that type of person that she loves measurements. And also, we're gonna put two garlic cloves. And bitch, this is gonna be bomb. Bomb, mm. skis, skis. You can smell it. Look, smell it. Smell like heaven. Amaze, bomb. I'm also gonna add a little bit of tomato one with tomato flavoring. Not too much because it could be like too, too much, too much, too much remix can be is possible. You know what I'm saying? So I stop. I, th I thought that was a button. I was gonna start it. Press the magic ma mouse. Press, 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 press the magic button. Come on, girlfriend. It's power. Okay. Wait. Press power. What power? Oh. Are you blind? <laughs> and then crush. Okay. Crush. I put some oil up in that hole. Now I'm so excited because I'm gonna use my shield. So here we go, yo. Ooh, it works. I want it to explode more so it could really work work what is that in the back what's going on you know what what's probably going on mira que chulada so it's gonna get more red it's gonna with the you know put a bunch of oregano Jeez, mira que chulada so mandy was happy because it got me that shield thing because she says she gets sad when i get burnt and i say you do love me you really do love me tuke this pretty way that place. So I got my oil getting hot, nice and ready. You know what I'm saying? I already got my little remix to the remix over here. Now, all that we have to do is get the chile sprayed, and we're gonna do it right now. Okay, motherfuckers. So we're gonna put this motherfucker in the flour, all purpose motherfucking flour, and then we're gonna dip this motherfucker in here. And yes, I have to curse for all motherfuckers to say, oh, why do you curse? I have to fucking curse. It's my fucking life. Mandy, can you stop it? Can you pause it or whatever? See? Mira que chulada. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. So make sure your oil's ready. Hot and ready for that ass. It doesn't take too long. If you like them light brown, do them light brown. If you like them dark brown, then do them dark, br dark brown. Whatever the fuck you guys like. Mandy's making it too. Do what you do. Just wash your shoes. Damn, Mandy with the skillies. Go, Mandy, go. Yes. But the only thing is since the crease is right here, you're supposed to... Can I close it? Oh, that's okay. No, leave the crease. The crease goes in the bottom, so it gets cooked first. Oh. And wash it when you clean your hands. See. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? Since the cup was in the bottom, you put it first. So it cooks there first, and it doesn't open. That's why people use toothpicks or whatever because they want it to stay closed but you don't really have to see like this one is not opening up it's perfection perfection now we're gonna take it out just hold that bitch right there then boom boom chakalaka okay. 
I'll take you with I'll take you with me like this. And be careful, okay? Si. Si quemas, I don't know. See? Boom, motherfucker. Now we're gonna separate them so they don't get stuck. Put a little bit of oil on top. Mira que chulada. Damn, bitch. Damn, Mandy. You get down with the brown. Bitch. So every motherfucking video, I'm gonna show you three words how to speak in Spanish. I'm gonna show you guys three words in Spanish. First word, marometa. 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 Means a cartwheel. Another word, a ver. Senos. Senos. I know that one. What is it? Um, boobs. Boobs, motherfucker. Cheat cheese. You could also call it cheat cheese. Another word. Um, consecuencia. 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 Consequence. Words of the motherfucking day. Marometa, senos, y consecuencia. Bitch. Say it. Um, Marometa, senos, canso, consecuencia. So this is what they look like. Mira que enchulada. And they're nice and squishy. Y ponte a barrer from the corner. To be here, sí. Mandy. She's just helping me. She's not um punished or anything. Child labor. It's not child labor. I'm teaching you to be independent. So this bitch is nice, nice and hot and ready. I'm just going to put him in there. Or you know what? Or else you could put him on top. Like when you're about to eat it, you could just put it on top. Because this will make him like Lucy. You know what I'm saying? Lucy like that pussy. So I do recommend is the putting the juice right before you're going to eat it. And then if you're going to eat it the next day, just leave him here, wrap him up, and use him the next day. Porque si no, se te van a hacer como aguaditos. Trust me, I know. I fucked up a lot of times. So for now, we're just going to put four. And I'm just going to put some queso. I have some extra queso on that ass. Bien, chamaca, you say excuse me. No, no, más están me barriendo ahí arriba de mí. Compromiso. Compromiso. And there we're done. We're done, motherfucker. Okay. Bitch, bitch, bitch. This is what they look like. Mira que chulada. Um, I got some white rice. Ahí está. But this bitch goes with orange rice. And the caldito. That's the fucking main fucking thing. The caldito, bitch. The motherfucking caldito. I cannot say it. ¿Cómo se dice? Emphasize. I can't emphasize how much the fucking caldo is in Bitch, bitch, bitch. So this is how it classically goes. Except it goes with, um, ¿cómo se dice? Mexican rice or orange rice, Spanish rice, whatever rice. But this is Mandy's plate. But I'm gonna try the burrito one. So for the burrito one, voy a agarrar uno, right? But you can't eat the stick. Mm, this, remember que the one que se te cortó mal, que le quitaste el pinche, ¿de ese? Remember, Mandy? Oh, sí. Yeah. Sort of. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Sort of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Y vamos a quitar aquí las corners por si las moscas. Mira que chulada. Try it. It's not hot. I know. You know. I know. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. It's hot? Yeah. I'm gonna enjoy it. Mmm, pero acá. tortillas are gonna be too little. I had big ass tortillas. But the other day, I made a stem. Is it the ass? Quesadillas. Y me las nos acabamos, güey. These motherfuckers go hard. And we got the rice, of course, my little horse. See? A ver si cabe. Maybe I should cut it in half. But yeah, get the big tortillas. Okay. Because if you don't get the big tortillas, you're gonna have this problemo. ¿Qué pasó? Why are you guys so quiet? I don't know what you mean. ¿Qué pasó, mamá? I remember the swamp Oh, you remember the swamp meat? Yes, it's so sad. I can go anymore. Today was the day that we're supposed to go. Sí. On Sundays. Pero es okay, mira, we're, we're home and we're having fun and we're bonding and you make chiles rellenos. Okay. Y le echas la agüita. We want to put more rice on top. Boom, boom. Okay. Ahora sí. Te digo pinche tortilla culera. Ahí está, chinga su madre. Y ya, está un burrito. 
And I'm gonna put it in the comal, nomás para que esté chingón. And there it is, motherfuckers. Now we're gonna cut it in half. Wow. Mira que chula. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. You could also put the juice on top to make it like mojadito, you know what I'm saying? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Scooby motherfucking do. Where the fuck is my spoon? I don't know. I don't really, really know. No more. Highway. Mira toda acá. Tururu. And the caldito with the. Um, I should get a bigger fucking spoon. The caldito with the uh, rice is the best. The best in the motherfucking West. Mira que chula. Vente, Mandy. Vente, Sophie, Sophie. Okay. Vamos a comer. A comer, a comer. A comer la balada. Okay, bitch, here we go, yo. Aquí está el tuyo. Si te pica, no, you don't have to keep eating it, okay? Okay. It's all good in the motherfucking neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Cheers. I'm telling you, bitch, the burrito's fucking fire. Yes. Mmm. Mm. That oregano, bitch. Mmm. Mm. You want to be the, you want me in the video, my baby? Yeah, Abba. Mm-hmm. Wow, well, cheers. Well, happy Mario Lucy. Cheers. Bam, But anyways, motherfuckers, I hope you guys like this recipe. You guys need to try the motherfucking burrito for real, for real. To all my bird gang, 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 motherfuckers. Peace. The motherfucking love. 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 So good. So good. Mm, 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 mm.